so much has been said about him and uh, so difficult for me to say something that's already been said and uh, the task is that I have to be different and I have to be brief and hopefully I'll try to see if I can fulfill both the assignments that I have put myself into. Dr. Qureshi was my teacher. For the first time I saw him was in 1971 when I was a student of first year engineering. And uh, I don't know, the way he dressed up and the way he spoke was so inspiring that uh, I said in one of my articles that I've given to the organizers, it was like a love at the first sight. I fell in love with this man. He's an amazing teacher, taught us, and I learned a lot from him. He's not only my teacher, but he was also my mentor, like many others. And Siddiqui Sahib, former Vice Chancellor of Sydney University, is also one of them. Let me say something different. When I was appointed as Vice Chancellor of Dawood University, obviously, the first thing that I did was I met him, Grace Sahib, and also Siddiqui Sahib. And both of them had so much hopes in me. And both of them patted me on my cheek and said that we know you can do it. Now go and do it. What a difficult task, sir, that you've given me for this university. And I think by Joe and with your prayers, we have made it happen. Thou stands transformed, thanks to Almighty Allah. Having said that, the other thing that I can say about Kweisa is that while in Karachi, I would always go and meet him for advice and all that, and we would always think that let's meet at a dinner with our spouses. And our victim always was Dr. Muhammad Ali Sheikh. But I would ask him that Kweisa Sahib wants a dinner, so can you arrange one? And every time he would arrange the dinner, and all our spouses would come with Appa, I could see Appa there too. And we had some good time together. I mean, we used to obviously listen to Krishi Sahib's wisdom, which was always plentiful. And every time that we uh, met him, we learned something new. It's never that, you know, he would be without his words. But I would say that, I would, you know, I would say something about Krishi Sahib which one could say it's unplugged Qureshi Sahib. Because everybody has said something very formal. Well, I would like to say something unplugged. Qureshi Sahib, the legend he was, was also a very lively person. He had a great sense of humor and a wit. And uh, he would always allow me uh, the privilege, and I could say, that I could, uh, you know, use my real life humor with him and he would enjoy it. One of the things that uh, he was very fond of when he was the Pro Vice Chancellor of Maran, and obviously I was a lecturer, a very small guy. I was his favorite student. But uh, this is something that many don't know, and I've written it in my article, that he used to take us all to a movie. And that movie was a very famous Pakistani movie called Aina between Nadeem and Shabnam, I don't know whether somebody of you have seen it. And you wouldn't believe it that we saw that movie for 12 times with Qureshi Sahib. We liked that movie so much that, you know, we watched that movie for 12 times uh, in Hyderabad in New Majestic Cinema or somewhere. And it, every time it used to be the second show that we used to go, he would relax, he would have dinner at my house and then move for the movie. But definitely, I would say, that Dr. Krish Saab gave us a lot, at least gave me a lot. He was one mentor, as I said, and every time I used to get stuck with rules and regulations, I would go to him at the Clifton Center and then we would discuss. And he would advise me that what needs to be done. So I was very blessed that I could share his wisdom or he could share his wisdom with me